Hello traders, welcome back to the channel. So two things I told yesterday, in fact we put in the thumbnail also that Bank Nifty is not likely to gap down below 40,500 and Nifty is not uh, likely to gap down below 17,700. In fact that happened today, a Bank Nifty gap down, it opened at uh, I think uh, 40,496 somewhere and uh, Nifty opened at 17,070 levels, 17,770 levels, right? So this was the scenario as predicted, uh, it gapped down. But the thing what happened intraday was very, very uh, pathetic, undigestible, right? I thought Nifty will not break 17,650 levels. It has broken that. Then Bank Nifty was very much surprising. I thought Bank Nifty will not break this uh, 40,250 level that was also decisively broken. So markets were kind of super volatile and uh, thanks to our uh, our brother Adani, uh, none of the Adani stock from ACC to Ambuja Stement all tanked heavily. In fact, Adani Enterprises tanked more than 10 uh, 10%. Now, if you think uh, today was volatile and tomorrow is going to be less volatile, tomorrow is going to be more volatile. I'll tell you why. Because tomorrow 12 a.m. FOMC meeting minutes will be coming out and FOMC uh, Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell uh, gave a, is giving a hawkish statement. Uh, that means they are uh, in line with their expectation to increase the interest rate. Uh, to more than 5%. So that could be a disaster, right? So already we are in disaster. Already we are at low levels. Whether uh, We'll see how, what are the levels we are going to test tomorrow in case it is gapping up or in case it is gapping down or what is going to happen. We'll look a brief analysis on Nifty and Bank Nifty. And before that, remember that tomorrow is FOMC Minutes meeting. And plus, uh, I have already warned you that there is a huge short position in uh, FIA contracts. FIA future index short is heavy and they have short both. I am sure today both FIA uh, or uh, let me put it this way. I wouldn't be surprised if both FIAs and DIAs have uh, sold uh, heavily today, right? So we'll see one by one. So first uh, Nifty, if you see the Nifty charts, uh, this is not Nifty chart. Uh, this is Bank Nifty. Before that, we'll see at Bank Nifty. Now, this was a level. So today it opened at around 17,700 levels. Then 17,650. I was uh, I was uh, believing. I was having some hope that 17,650 levels will hold. In fact, if you see a five minutes uh, time frame, you can see little amount of retracement in this area around this area. So this candle, if you see first. Uh, uh, 10.45 candle and 11, uh, 11 o'clock candle. This is a 15 minutes chart. In fact, it tried to retrace 17,650, but it couldn't hold. Then bears where it mark Nifty was in the bears grip and we, mo we almost saw 17,500 levels. So that is very, very important. Now, 17,850 is forgot. It is history. Now it is a resistance. In order for Nifty to go to 17,850 first, it has to cross 17,700, then 17,750, then only we may see 17,850 levels. Uh, but it is not going to happen anytime soon. It really depends on how global uh, market or global queues span out, right? Now, the question is what is going to happen tomorrow? So if you are watching the US market, get all three indices uh, in uh, Europe and all three indices in uh, US which is Dow Jones, Nasdaq, S&P tanked heavily. In fact, Dow Jones was down by more than 600 points at one point of the time. And Nasdaq S&P was more than down, uh, down by more than one and a half percent. And same is following. Even now, as I talk to you, Europe is all in the red. But SGX Nifty is showing little green, around eight to ten points green. So that is that doesn't have any significance. It all depends on how U.S. future U.S. markets and Europe market closes today, right now. 
if at all there is any global queues we are uh, we are having uh, negative global queues and if we are going to go down we might see for 17500 levels today uh, tomorrow sorry not today tomorrow so 17500 is a very very crucial why am i saying that is because on february 1st and on january 30th january 30th and february 1st we saw these levels and also on 30th january 30th january then the 30th uh, yeah 30th january it was tested twice and february 1st it was tested uh, once and we saw market going towards 18100 levels so this 17400 might act as a really really super strong resistance so 17500 is the point which we have to note down if 17500 is taken out uh, i'm i'm sure it is not going to happen because whatever uh, uh, like uh, how to say like uh, two days of price action we have seen in one day itself right so we might uh, test 17500 i'm not saying we will not test we might test 17500 and we may uh, uh, retrace from 17500 and uh, markets are likely to open flat tomorrow that is what i believe and in case we are going on the higher side 17650 is going to be a a uh, good resistance so on the downside 17500 and on the upside it is going to be around 17650 when it comes to bank nifty so nifty is around 17500 levels and when it comes to bank nifty bank nifty is very interesting uh, today uh, i thought i believed that 40223 is going to be a good support uh, and uh, bank nifty is, as i told you bears were so aggressive so strong they took out 40250 levels without any difficulty so that's what i mentioned in our telegram group we have been uh, having a we are having a very vibrant telegram group if you want you can join for which the link is on the description below now what is going to happen tomorrow now if you can see the historical chart this uh, on same day as a, as i told you on nifty this uh, january 27th and february 1st bank nifty tested 39750 levels so this will act as a tomorrow in case it is gapping down or in case it is opening flat it will try to retest 17500 uh, 39750 levels in case it is going up so we will test 40250 levels so these are the levels which you have to take care in case market opens i'm sure market is going to open flat tomorrow if at all it Uh, goes above forty thousand two hundred. Maybe you have to sell thirty nine thousand or thirty nine thousand five hundred put option. And in case Bank Nifty is closing, opening flat and moves above seventeen thousand six hundred fifty levels, you will have to sell maybe seventeen thousand four hundred or seventeen thousand three hundred or seventeen thousand two hundred put option. And in case Bank Nifty co- goes below. 17500 then it is going to be a hell lot of uh, bearishness and uh, that we will decide tomorrow we don't know now right uh, we'll decide tomorrow in case it goes below 17500 you can short uh, 17700 17600 or even 17500 if you are super ag- super aggressive or if you are not a kind of aggressive seller you can sell maybe 17900 or 18000 which is selling for 1 rupee or 2 rupee right that is what is happening now if you sell tomorrow tomorrow is an expiry expiry of february series so if you sell maybe 1 rupees or 2 rupees now yesterday had you sell, sold 18000 call option or last two or three days had you sold 18000 call option you would have made good money anyway we will see what happens so my uh, perspective about the market or my outlook about the market is that <clears throat> tomorrow probably we might open 
uh, flat in the market so that is what i believe right so remember this before uh, taking any position so tomorrow is going to be super volatile and uh, make your position as accordingly and uh, you might uh, you might see choppiness uh, super volatile uh, expiry tomorrow so that's what i want to warn you about and uh, this is the us futures us futures are all in the green uh, we'll see what happens i'm sure market uh, our markets nifty and bank nifty will open uh, flat tomorrow we'll see about the open interest before that we'll see the market wise uh, market participant uh, market wise uh, participants uh, uh, future index short now this figure is very very important like i told you uh, if you see this figure let me show you yeah this is the uh, this is the figure i am concerned about fii short in future index right so if you see 20th uh, there were there were they were having around 123000 contracts active contract short contracts in future and as of yesterday which is 21st they had around uh, 112 from 123 active contracts they have come down to 112 contracts now today's data we don't know this is end of the day data so we'll have to wait and i'm sure they would have shorted the market heavily they would have sold heavily that's what i think and 